Hello everybody, I'm Anton Tunitsky and in this video I'll talk about the split tool in 3D code and how it can be applied to hard surface design. So here I have my piece, uh, just a generic hard kind of profile, hard surface stuff that I've done using different cuts which I've explained in previous videos on my channel and I have already my split tool activated on my left so one of the most important parameters there that you have to modify is the split border width. It will be different on any, on, on every system, or like on every, like depending on your scale. But generally, like something minus, minus point one is all right. If you do it at one, for example, every time you would cut, you will not really get any of the seams that we want to achieve. So, and I pick the angular cut tool. So I'll do a cut right here. So what it does, every time you cut, it creates a, a child in, on, on my uh, right. Uh, and let's do another cut here and that child inherits a material that is your base material it doesn't inherit material it assigns a base material that you can assign here on my right like let's uh, pick something black and make it our default shader so select this default shader and now if I cut it to be a new color which is really cool that in that way you can design using color as well as shape which can be really really powerful and just a couple bolts right and This is really cool, just the ability to make really nice, neat cuts in your <coughs> uh, design is invaluable. One of the drawbacks of this tool, it's kind of destructive, right? So you have to, you, you need to create a backup copy of this profile before you start cutting it because there's no, there's no way you really can get back to the original and a few things you can add on top is you can switch to the uh, cut off or better to voxel height and start cutting some inserts right here inserts here That. So that's really all, all there is to it. Uh, there are a few things that you cannot really cut that well. For example, something really complicated, and I'll try to show it in the Vox layer uh, attribute. Something like this, right? It's this type of profile, you cannot really cut it out, unfortunately. And I'm it's bugging out on me, I cannot. It doesn't matter. Yep. Nope. Let's hit apply. So this shape you cannot really cut out. Mm, unfortunately, but yeah, it's some of the limitations of the tool you have to know. But the biggest advantage is really getting really cool cuts that you can see you know in, in almost in any industrial application industrial uh, item and equipment profile cuts and then even adding all the ball all the bolts really easily on top uh, I'm not in the right model the mode 
So it goes through the hallway. So it can be beneficial as well. You can you can see through a little bit, so you can play around with the bits of the voxels. Also, you, you kind of have to be quite. You have to have quite a high poly. Quite highly highly polygonal models, uh, pretty dense models, to do that. Um, especially if you do something small like all these rivets and bolts, I would say even right now it's not enough. And it can get really heavy when you have big. If you imagine it's part of a robot and you have a huge robot, it will get heavy. So we have to drop it back to you know, surface mode and um, maybe decimate it. Yeah, so that's really all to all there is to the split tool, which is really fun tool to play around and experiment. Remember, using using different uh, materials and applying it as a base shader, that will really enhance your designs. And um, thank you for watching. See you next time.